How's it going guys? It is 1.50 a.m. Tuesday, May 24th here in Japan, and we have a medium difficulty path slash oncology question for step one. Okay, very similar question shows up on one of the NBME exams. I'll cut to the chase, not waste our time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. 32-year-old woman, she has a two-month history of vaginal bleeding between menses. Her cycles have always occurred at regular 28-day intervals. Serum and laboratory studies are within normal limits. Her TSH is not elevated. She has a 36-year-old brother who was recently diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Question just wants to know what's most likely to be seen in this patient's condition. Okay, so let's just walk through the answer choices here. Choice A, defective recombinational double-stranded DNA repair, wrong fucking answer. This refers to BRCA, BRCA1 and 2 for breast cancer uh, gene mutations, okay? So this isn't my opinion. It's not me trying to be verbose and fancy. Uh, this shows up on one of the new NBME exams, okay? They just give you BRCA, breast cancer, and then they ask for the mechanism. And it's just boom, recombinational double-stranded DNA repair. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, constitutive GTPase activity. Wrong answer. This refers to CRAS, K-R-A-S, which is seen sometimes in colorectal cancer. Okay, I mean, there is history of colon cancer in the family. It's not an outrageous answer, but it's not correct, okay? But your take-home is just constitutive means uh, increased activity, always on, and you need to be able to cleave GTP into GDP to shut off G proteins. Okay, we talk about the biochemistry type stuff, and you can't do that when CRAS is mutated. Okay, it can be seen sometimes this mechanism in some colorectal cancers. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, increased production of anti-apoptotic molecule. Wrong answer. This refers to BCL2 gene, 1418 translocation for follicular lymphoma. Okay, uh, the most common indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Painless, neck mass, waxes and wanes over a couple of years. And they just want you to know, BCL2, it's an anti-apoptotic molecule, all right? And as I just fucking said, most common indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma, all right? Choice D, microsatellite instability is our correct answer, all right? So diagnosis here is Lynch syndrome, HNPCC, hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer. So this is going to be colonic polyps oftentimes, and despite the name, okay, non-polyposis, but often presents with colonic polyps. And there is a 40 to 60% increased risk of endometrial cancer in women who uh, have HNPCC, okay? And then there's a up to 15% chance of ovarian, uh, increased risk of ovarian cancer in these patients as well. So the mechanism is microsatellite instability, mutations in mismatch repair genes, okay? MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, and PMS2, they actually do ask those genes on the US Mille. Okay, I've seen them as answer choices. I've seen them in vignettes. So it sounds nitpicky, not my fucking opinion. All right, fortunately, step one's not uh, numerical anymore. Okay, back in the, the days when it up to January this year, 2022, when you know people are gunning for a big score, maybe it's more important to memorize, but it's pass fail now. I'm just letting you know, all right, those genes are asked. So uh, I'll just whip through the last answer choice, transcription factor upregulation, wrong answer. This refers to Burkitt lymphoma. All right, so C Mike, C hyphen MYC, 814 translocation almost always, can be 28 and 822, but usually 814 translocation, Burkitt lymphoma, uh, either a jaw lesion or can be intra-abdominal. And BC, uh, sorry, what the fuck am I saying? C Mike is a transcription factor, okay? BCL2, as I just mentioned before, is the anti-peptotic molecule for, for follicular. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.